<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to a Bow Tell Bow video. In this video, we're gonna be doing a comparison between similar arrows of different uh, material types. So we got our first, we got carbon fiber, we have bamboo, aluminum, and some Port Orford cedar. All three different types, they're about 450 to 480 grains each. Um, well, on average, that's about where we're getting at the weight. And we're using the same bow, but we're gonna check a couple different things. I got a B55 Dacron string and then a D97, uh, D75, sorry, D75 string. And we're gonna use two different brace heights as well. So this one's at four inches and the other one's set at, uh, then we'll set it up to a six inch brace height and we'll see what kind of arrow speed we get out of it. So stay tuned. All right, the first thing to do is, of course, to weigh them so we can get an idea of where they are. They're not all gonna be exactly the same weight, but we find out about where they are. So this one's about 457 grains. Let's see, the bamboo is 488 grains, 489 grains. The carbon is going to be definitely our lightest arrow, 467 grains. And this uh, Port Orford cedar, 489 grains. So the wood and the bamboo are very similar, and these are a little bit closer. So right off the bat, these two heavier arrows seem like they'll go slower, and these two lighter arrows seem like they'll go faster. Let's see, using the same bow, how they go. Four inch brace height, carbon arrow, using a 28 inch draw. We got it marked with a silver line here about where 28 inches is. And that way it's the same amongst all the arrows. And uh, yeah, we'll see, see what we get here. Brace. 142. Bamboo. These. 146. For all our friends across the pond, the aluminum arrow. Release. 153. Now we got Port Orford cedar or just a standard wood shaft. Release. 145. Yep. So I got it set up just shy of six inches of brace height, which is uh, the same that the D75 is already set up at. So I just wanted to make it equivalent. Now we're gonna go through and do the same thing. Pulling back 28 inches, starting with our carbon. Release. 147. Bamboo, B55, six inch brace. Release. 151. Nice. That's weird. The carbon sh feels like it should be faster. B55 aluminum six inch brace height. Release. 150. Port Orford Cedar six inch brace height B55 string. I'm getting them all in different orders, but it doesn't matter <laughs> like how I'm saying them out, but whatever. <laughs> Release. 153. Okay, a couple things about the bow. So first of all, it's a standard kind of English longbow style. 
long limbs, horn knocks. It's made out of lemon wood and it shoots about 45 pounds at 28 inches, a little shy of 45, I would say 43 or 44, uh, now that I've gotten the finish and everything done on it. But just a plain old stick bow. Uh, they're not known for being super efficient, but so far it seems like this one's actually pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and process the data and then come back and let you know what our results are. What impacts the most with this bow and those arrows uh, is it the wood type, the brace height, or the string type? Let's take, the, take a look. Here's the data in all of its glory. There is lots to think about and digest here, but we do have an overall winner. Aluminum arrow with six inch brace height, D75 string, uh, reached 155 feet per second average. Now looking at this, this kind of is an interesting phenomenon that I did not expect. It's normally, what I hear amongst bowyers is that when you lower the brace height, so go to four inches, for example, you get more cast. This is not showing that to be true. Now, I'm not gonna say that this data is 100% amazing and perfect. This was a really quick, rough test, so, Interesting to see that the aluminum arrow with the six inch brace height did pretty well. The carbon fiber was right behind it with the six inch brace height. The third place was the aluminum arrow again, but this time with the four inch brace height. All right, so what can we conclude from all this data? I'm not really sure if we can really conclude anything specifically except for one thing, and that's the D75 string definitely adds to the speed and performance of the bow. Makes sense, lighter string, less stretch in the string, faster bow, faster arrow. Now, one thing that we could argue is that the six inch brace height on the aluminum arrow added a little bit of performance, I would think with this bow, because it increased the draw weight just slightly. Now, with it being a long bow, and the string moving forward, uh, it does, the bow does flex a bit. You get, uh, the arrow comes all the way through and, and usually gets close to the hand. Uh, with a four inch brace height, I wasn't really feeling it slap my hand, but it definitely was getting close. And so I would feel that that maybe, maybe what was happening is that the string was traveling enough that it was still giving it a lot of cast going from the full draw of 28 inches all the way down to its brace height and then past that. Uh, but it's kind of hard to say without a really good slow motion camera to see how much that arrow travels. I guess one thing we really can say though is that there's still so much about bows and arrows that are very specific to each bow and each arrow setup. It's hard to conclude one way that everything is going to be faster if you only do this one thing. I do say that that D75 string really does help in making that a faster bow. That maybe not every bow is made will work well with the D75 string. In the end, the best thing you can do is try it all out for yourself. Get a couple of different arrow types. Try to get them closer in grain weight uh, and then shoot them. Shoot them with your bow, shoot them through a chronograph, and get just an overall general idea of what's the best setup. A well-tuned arrow to a well-made bow is hard to beat in any kind of performance. With that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you had a different conclusion than what I did, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, well, we can go inside now. All right.